if we structure around or align with our target customers, we put product management, product marketing, I'm going to take the whole discipline, product management, marketing, strategy, two buckets, I'm going to be very generic here, problem finders, problem solvers. Here's the ratio. 20% of the team, 10 to 20% of the team are problem finders. That's all you need. They're your front men and women to go out there and just their, their only job is to understand what the market is, paint a picture of the market, your target customers top to bottom, what's happening, what are their strategies, where are they investing money, how does that align with what we do, blah, blah, blah. Their job is to uncover opportunities. They have no day-to-day -day product responsibility. Because once you have day-to-day -day product responsibility, you're done. The problem solvers are the people who own the products. Products are the means to an end. That's why the only thing you can measure is what is the impact I'm having in a particular market segment and is my revenue going up and am I doing it profitably. Product line revenue, product line profitability just reinforces silos. There's only one strategy. If you look at the goals of the organization, the next question to answer is which market segments are most conducive to meeting those goals. And the next question is, what are the biggest obstacles we can remove from customers in those markets that help them meet their goals that we can do profitably? And the next question after that is, what are those solutions comprised of? And the next question after that is, what products are involved and how are we going to put it all together and when can we get them to market? So generally speaking, people in this role are uh, structured by market segment. Product management is still horizontal, so you're building products and solutions for multiple markets. The beauty of one strategy is when push comes to shove and I need to put features into a product that targets multiple segments and I don't have the resource to do it, I go back to the strategy and say which segment is first, second, third priority. And if those features are specific to one of those segments and it's the one at the bottom of the totem pole versus the one at the top of the totem pole or near the top, that's what dictates my scope and my priorities at a product level. It makes it so much easier for us to decide at a product level what's in and what's out when we, when we have resource constraints. Here's the other thing. Scoping in this model changes significantly. You don't scope features, you scope user scenarios and features go with it. And so when it comes time to de-scope and that time always comes, you can de-scope features and still solve a user scenario, or if you have to de-scope too much, you take out the whole scenario and everything that goes with it. We need to change the entire way we communicate from products to the business of our customers. And that is really hard to do, because we live, eat, breathe, sleep, product 24-7. But if we don't start this conversation in the product marketing, product management areas, it's not going to get started. That is why our companies depend on us and what goes in and out of product management. As product management goes, so goes the rest of the organization. If each one of your product lines is exclusive to its own markets, this works like a charm because the product and the market are the business. Where you have multiple products targeting the same markets, you're in a resource site. Here's what our life is. Everybody's trying to justify enhancements to their own products. That's how we are incented. That's what our job description says. Top-down approach simplifies everything. Because there's only one view of each one of your target markets. And when there's only one view of the market, you all see the market the same way, then the things you should be doing or the things you can be doing start to become intuitively obvious when you see the target customer from the whole big picture. The ball is in our hands to start forcing this discussion to happen inside of our organizations.